I uh, made it to New York City. This week's episode is about empathy. And we'll explore the definition and we'll talk about why empathy is needed for team building and sales and really all aspects of business and life. Starting the week in New York City, then taking a train down to Washington, D.C., and ultimately heading to Chicago before heading back to St. Louis. Special feature this week, snowpocalypse in New York City. I love New York City, and no one, no one does a blizzard better than New York City. In Chicago, we call 12 to 18 inches a heavy snow, in Chicago, we don't freak out about these kinds of things. But in New York, in New York, we have snowpocalypse. We will look for Casey Neistat snowboarding throughout the streets of New York City and another bedlam. What does empathy mean? The Oxford English Dictionary defines empathy as the ability to understand and share the feelings of another. And in the usage section, it mentions that people often confuse the words empathy and sympathy. Sympathy means feelings of pity and sorrow for someone else's misfortune, as in they had great sympathy for the flood victims. I've got a conference call, then I'm running over to the PwC New York office, and ladies and gentlemen, a nor'easter is coming. Forecast says up to four inches per hour starting Tuesday, 10 to 16 total inches. All right, PWC behind me, quiet before the storm. At this point, I think both of my meetings are gonna get canceled tomorrow. We're probably gonna do them by phone, but Snow's not supposed to start until about midnight. So then let's get back to the topic at hand, which is empathy. And the first thing I want to focus on is why it's important to be empathetic as a team member. It's important to have empathy for other members of your team. It's important to, as they struggle or as they do well, to put yourself in their shoes. And it's going to, you're going to get the most out of the entire team, if all team members can have some empathy. If they're going through something, remember what that's like. If they succeed and they do something great, and maybe you haven't done it, show some empathy for that. Be excited for them. here. Not really sure it feels like a blizzard yet, but I guess if it keeps coming, but we'll see. I'm heading outside. Let's take a look, see how this is. Uh, pretty nasty out. Um, they're saying four to six inches, so I think I'm going to be able to go to DC. I uh, went ahead and checked out of my hotel room. I, I do not see Casey Neistat snowboarding, unfortunately. New Yorkers, I certainly understand that they were calling for 14 to 20 inches of snow, but at this point, we're gonna get four to six. Check out the office. Nobody here. Nobody here either. Somebody's gotta be in the break room, right? Nope. At least some of the partners have had to show up. Right? Nope. Nobody. <laughs> All right, Penn Station, heading to Washington, D.C. Have empathy, be a good leader. 
getting on the 442. It's a regional. It gets me in 50 minutes earlier, but it's like two hours more on the train. So plenty of plenty of work to do on the train. DC bound. Made it to um, DC. One of the reasons it's important to have empathy as a team member is because it helps you bond and connect with other people. And high performing teams bond and connect. And, uh, DC Union Station. Fantastic architecture. Am I right? Let's check out the main hall, shall we? Gorgeous architecture. It's the Capitol building. Right, we're in DC, heading to a client meeting. Craig Gerson, ladies and gentlemen. Craig Gerson, say hi, Craig. Hey. This is not the 16 inches of snow that everybody was suspecting. They talked me into another session for our international tax policy forums. Familiar crews down there. All right, inside tax policy, that's a wrap. All right, great meetings in, uh, in D.C. today. We talked about empathy as being important as a team member, but empathy is also important to show as a team leader. It's critical for a leader that is making decisions on behalf of his or her team, on behalf of his or her organization, to really understand how those decisions may impact all of the various stakeholders and to be empathetic with all of those stakeholders. Actually back in the office today, had a good client meeting and I'm heading across the street for a PWC alumni event. Walking over from the PWC office to the Willis Tower, formerly known as the Sears Tower. I think it's a tall building in Chicago, I don't know. Went to talk to a bunch of uh, interns that have gotten offers and uh, associates. So uh, a bunch of, bunch of newbies that uh, have recently gotten offers. That is the Sears Tower. All right, made it to 99. PwC recruiting team, where we're done. Say hi, everybody. Every time I get the opportunity to speak in front of a group of interns, prospective interns, and new hires, it, it, it inspires me. It's amazing how quickly 18 years goes by, but just to see those faces and that you know, youth and exuberance and excitement and nervousness and just kind of raw energy. I can, I can feel it. Whenever you're doing a speech, whenever you're looking to connect to a group of people, think about where those people sit in their lives. Where do those people sit in their careers? Where do those people sit in their fields? And you'll find a way through empathy to connect with those people. <laughs> Back in the home office today, nobody knows how to panic about a storm like New Yorkers. And unfortunately, I did not see Casey Neistat snowboarding through the streets of New York. This week's theme is empathy. Empathy is defined as the ability to understand or share the feelings of another. We've talked about it in the context of being a member of a team. We've talked about it in the context of leading a team. We've talked about it in the context of speaking in front of a group of people. What I wanted to end with was the importance of empathy as a sales skill. To 
to really be a successful salesperson, it's important to put yourself in your client's shoes, in your customer's shoes. And what you as a salesperson think is the most important is not relevant at all. It's what the client or what the customer thinks is the most important. So if you can show and share empathy with your customer, with your client, you're going to have a higher success rate in your sales. Next week's episode, we're going to be heading back to Jupiter, Florida, where this time we'll be watching competent professionals play baseball and talking about themes of leadership. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe on YouTube. Mash that like button. Provide some comments if anybody has any ideas or thoughts for topics and themes. Let me know here, people. This is supposed to be a dialogue. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next week.